Eric, no goals in f four games now. Can you talk us through that performance? It was a solid performance, but we didn't net. And I think we controlled the game. And you win the game when you score the goal. You, th you think that was a solid performance? Yes, I think. I think um, we were totally in control, uh, in and out of possession. I think for op we gave the opponent nothing till the 72 minute, one moment of switching off. What did you say to your team at half time? Uh, so, actually, similar. Keep going, uh, uh, keep building up from the back and come forward, come in a final third. But of course, then uh, get movements in. Uh, get runs the box, attack the box, get the ball in the box uh, by, by uh, combinations, by bringing the ball wide, uh, uh, keep working the ball, get him back and bring the ball in the box and get shots in. And you, were, you, were, you felt there was a reaction to that? Because from what we saw, there didn't seem to be enough of a reaction after half time, enough of a reaction going down a goal, going down a second goal, more of a reaction. But... Your team were very flat-footed in the first half and, and slow to react after half-time and going a goal down. You don't agree with that? I think we, we controlled the game eh? and we gave West Ham United nothing. Eh? We were so dominant in the building up and we created chances also in transition. I think the first three uh, chances of the game were ours. We have to take them. A lot of fans leaving early, fans I haven't seen goals in four games. You say that things are going to improve when you get your players back, but that level, not being able to score in four goal games for a team like Manchester United with the squad you have, are you not seriously concerned about the lack of reaction from your team today? We have to do better our attacking game. We have to improve our attacking game. <laughs> That's absolutely the truth. And there are four we have to work together. Uh, we have to do it with all 11 players, uh, but yeah, of course, there are some players on the pitch that have to take responsibility. Thank you. They certainly have. Derek Ray joined here on the commentary box, as always, by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Alexander Zinchenko starts with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne starts with Rodri in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Joao Cancelo. Patient enough build-up, can they carve out a chance? Must take the lead here! Well, they're going to be... I must say, I think it's impossible to take your eyes off Kevin De Bruyne when he's in top form and Lee, so much to like about the Belgian and the way he goes about his business. Absolutely, I'm just trying to think of a weakness. I'm not sure how good he is in the air. Heading, he probably can still head the ball, but <laughs> everything else, left foot, right foot, sees a pass, scores goals, energetic, vibrant, hungry. I could go on all night long. Complete player. Got to it easily, the keeper. Losing the ball, Deli Alley. De Bruyne threading it through. Reguilon, now Son, promising move from Tottenham, and well, the defending not the best here, and a Tottenham Hotspur pretty clear. Well, I like that Derek, good refereeing, nice and strong, told the player exactly. Ball is loose! Pierre. Well, goalkeepers live a charmed life at time, but that was just brilliant. Really, really good goalkeeping. Lo Celso. 
Lo Celso. Bale. Son in the centre. Just not testing the